What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Thursday, and that means we are playing an expanded Thursday deck, or an expanded deck for expanded Thursday. Um, but today, we're going to look at a plasma deck, and we're more going to focus on Kiram. Now, Kiram was a really, really strong force about two years ago, maybe even longer than that. Um, it played like Thunderous, Deoxys, Kiram, maybe played Absol. But in this deck, we're going to focus on straight Kiram. Since Max Elixir and uh, Coach Machine are out, maybe we can get a turn one Kiram and take some knockouts for 170 damage. And that's what we're going to try today. Now, our main attacker, like I said, is going to be Kiram. This was a really, really good attacker, like I said, about two years ago. It made it really far into Nationals with Calvin, uh, Calvin you know, uh, making top eight, top four. I can't remember exactly. I think it's top four for sure. Uh, but it has the attack Frost Spear. It does 30 and 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So 30, 30 snipe. Could easily knock out some Pokemon. Like get dual knockouts, maybe, if you do like the math correctly. But the main attack we're going to go for is Blizzard Burn. It does 120 damage and the Pokemon can't attack this turn uh, or the next turn. So you might be saying, Blizzard Burn 120, that's not a lot. Uh, what are you talking about, Squeaky? How is this that good? Well, thankfully, with Deoxys, it has the ability Power Connect. Your team Plaza Pokemon's attacks do 10 more damage to the active Pokemon. So you play four of these, of course. You want four of these out to do maximum damage. So with four, you're doing 160. And with the Muscle Band, you're doing 180 damage, which is crazy. Now, it does need two water and the colors. Um, back then, you had a Taj, you Coach Machine maybe, just pass or just wait. The next turn, do it. Um, but now, we are going to use Max Elixir to try to get the turn one Kiram. Max Elixir says, look at top six cards of your deck. And attach a basic energy card you find there to a basic Pokemon on your bench. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. And that's how we're going to try to get a turn one uh, Kiram. While also using Coach Machine. Because it says search deck for a Plasma Energy card. And attach it to one of your team Plasma Pokemon. And this is a Plasma Energy. If you have never seen one before, this is what they look like. And you can tell they're Plasma Pokemon because it has Team Plasma around it. And also has this blue border. All the Plasma Pokemon did have blue borders uh, back when they're printed. And so that's what we're going to try to go for today. Uh, we play one Hoopa to use the Scoundrel to search for three EX Pokemon. With this, you can get out of Deoxys, Shaman, Keldeo, uh, maybe two Deoxys and a Keldeo if you already have Shamans down or something. Uh, Hoopa's really good to search out your Hoopas. Uh, you're going to get this out with Ultra Ball, going to get that out for sure. Uh, playing two Shaman for the setup and one Keldeo for the rush in. Uh, you know, you switch it with the bench Pokemon. But you got to remember that the Kiram can't attack during your next turn. So you need to rush in, then retreat to get Kiram back into the active spot to start attacking. So that's all the Pokemon we're going to play. There, you could play other cards. There's Thunderous. Um, there's Absol. There's Lugia. There's Snorlax. There's so many Team Plasma Pokemon. Maybe one day we'll do a whole breakdown of Team Plasma and play that. Um, but today we're just going to go focus on Kiram. We're going to try to get the turn one Frost. Uh, the turn one Blizzard Burn. Blizzard Burn, sorry. Uh, so like I said, three Colors Machine. We're going to attach these to our Kirams. One computer search, so we can get any card from our deck. Uh, discard two cards from your hand. Get any card from your deck. Three max elixirs. We know what this does. One super rod. And this get back mostly your water energies for late game. Uh, shuffle three combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards. But you could do two waters and a Kiram if you wanted to. Um, four trainers mill. So this way you can try to for sure get your max elixir and your course machines. You need to make sure you hit those cards. One course, and that's because we'll play Skyfield. Like, we're going to have a big bench, and we're going to be able to course for a bunch. Because course, shuffle your head into your deck, then draw a number of cards equal to the number of bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. I can't remember the guy who gave me the floor course, and I feel really, really bad right now. But you know who I'm talking about. Shout out to that guy. He gave me floor course. He said, Squeaky, you don't have a floor course. I need to hook you up, and he gave me floor course. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Um, one Lysander bring a Pokemon off the bench. Two in, each player shuffles their hand into deck, then draw a card for each prize card remaining. This is we, We're going to see this in the next set as well coming out. Four Juniper, could be a Sycamore Juniper. Three Skyfield, so you have up to eight Pokemon on your bench. And this way, you can have up to like four Deoxys. You can have your Keldeo, your Shaman, and you're good to go. The only problem is, if they bump your Stadium, you're in a weird situation where you might have to discard uh, like two Shamans and maybe a Deoxys. Now... If your opponent's playing 180 HP Pokemon and you can take the knockout next turn, I would definitely keep the Deoxys on the field for sure. Uh, two Flowstone to give Keldeo a free retreat. Three Muscle Band to give your Kira that 20 more damage. And four and eight Water Energy. Now, some people might be saying, hey, you can play Fighting Fury Belts, but that doesn't really work. You don't hit 180. And if you, okay, and some people might be saying, 
Well, you don't play Sorosic or Startling Megaphone to discard their own um, Fury Belts. But if that happens, you actually want to go for a Frost Spear. You know, going for a Frost Spear is never that bad. Like, damaging Pokemon, uh, you know, it's not bad at all. And Kiram is a 90x, so they will have to knock out four of these guys. Uh, we're just trying to see if we can go really fast with Blizzard to get that turn one knockout. Or maybe get multiple Kirams ready to go. Either one would be great. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this deck. I love TDK. I think I, like, I love Kiram. I, I think I won, like, two cities with it. Back when I was out, um, Calvin always hooked me up with a list. He was definitely one of the better Plies and Pokemon players. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. All right, pretty against X Alpha 10 X playing a dark and colors deck. So definitely some kind of evil tall deck. And let's see what happens. Look all heads, and we lost the coin flip. So we will be going second. But if he starts anything but a dark eye, we have a good shot of knocking him out. Uh, Dark Ride does have 180 HP. There's a Mulligan. Okay. He's going to never play some kind of water deck. He might be thinking we're playing, like, Blastoise, maybe? Like, but the Plasma Energies definitely show that we're playing some kind of Plasma deck. Alright. Okay, so we get a Kiram. If we can get an Ultra Ball off this Trainer's Mail, we'll be, like, really good shape. Alright, so let's see. There's a Zora. Oh man, Zora Pass. Never mind, there's an Evitol. Alright, so he gets an Evitol. Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, we really haven't seen that in a dark deck, but gonna search deck for two dark Pokemon. There's a Dark Eye and an Evitol, yes. Okay. Now, the good thing about Zora is we can also ban Deoxys, take a knockout on it, and then hurt one of these bench Pokemon as well. Okay, there's a Dark Energy to the active. Hypnotoxic Laser. Oh no. And heads, we're asleep. We're cruising, we're sleeping right now, that's not great. Alright, and a pass for my opponents, okay, and we do wake up, great. Alright, on to our turn, what do we top deck? A Super Rod. That's not one of the cards I really want to see early game. So let's Trainer's Mel. We'll grab an in, okay. Grab the in, please, sir, thank you. Uh, put the Muscle Band, Skyfield, Deoxys in. I know he didn't really play a supporter card, but we need to get cards for sure. Okay, so we got, we have a really good hand right now. Uh, we'll put down a Kiram. We will play the Hoopa. No, let's, yeah, we need to play the Hoopa. Uh, searching for, yep, yeah, we'll search for three EX Pokemon. We'll grab a Deoxys, Deoxys, and a Keldeo. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll have enough bench pace for everybody. Everybody come to the party. All right, so these guys come to our hand. We will Deoxys, Deoxys. Deoxys, <laughs> Keldeo, and we'll Shebe 4-4. And let's see, what do we get off the Shebe? Don't let me down, buddy! Okay, that's a letdown. But we get a Flow Stone for the Keldeo. We get a Plasma Energy to the Kiram. We can then Course Machine to the other Kiram in the Acta spot. Yep. And then we're going to rush in, retreat to a Deoxys, and just pass. That seems okay. That way we preserve. Oh man, Zora can like. Oh man, Zora can destroy us next turn. Oh, I'm kind of scared. Okay, I just realized what just happened. We need to take a knockout this turn, and the Zora is going to hit us for like a billion damage if they have an energy and a Zark. All right, so we're gonna sit at the Hoopa. I'm fine with the Hoopa getting knocked out, and we can if they play a different support, like a different stadium, we can super run them back into the deck. So that's not good. I just realized that uh, that just happened. There's a Dark Energy to the Evitol. Ultra Ball discarding a Dark and a Dark. You can get out of Zorark right now. Touch a Dark Energy and, uh, and destroy us. Yeah, there's a Mind Jack. I don't know why he didn't go for that. Very confused right now. But we'll take it. Uh, retreat to the Evitol. Put down the Zorark. And he'll Evil Ball us. Or does he have a Lysander? Nope, just an Evil Ball. Okay, for 60. I don't know our turn. What kind of crazy turn can we get? Okay, that's not a great start to a crazy turn. I guess we'll VS Seeker for an in. If only we had course in the discard pile, that would be broke. Uh, so let's end. Can we get a water and a max elixir? Neither works as well, I guess. We have eight in the we have eight in the deck. Uh, trainer's mill. Oh, buddy. Okay. I guess we'll just end our turn. Uh, but next turn we computer search. We can then colors. Uh, we can computer search maybe for the max elixir, then colors to make guaranteed. I think that might be the best play. I probably should just computer search for energy regardless. I don't know why I didn't. Um, but we'll see what happens. Does my opponent attack with Zark this turn? 
Or does he tackle the Evitol? I mean, Evitol's not taking a knockout. He has a new hand of seven. There's a Max Elixir gonna... I wonder where that Dark Energy is gonna go. Hmm, I wonder. Uh, maybe to the Evitol. Yeah, it looks like it went to the Evitol. There's another Zora coming down. There's a Zorg Break coming down. Oh, they can use Hyperspace Fear if they want to. Uh, Fighting Fear Bounds only active. No! Don't do that! I can't knock out... <laughs> I can't knock out the Xerneas now. Alright. So, Muscle Man comes down. It's still not knocking us out, though. Uh, so, we will have to Frost Spear. Alright, retreat to the Zorg Break. And him out like Laser. And Tells. Okay, we're, we're still awake. And there's a Foul Play. Okay, he's going to use Hyperspace Fear, do 100 damage to one of our Pokemon. And he's going to hit our Keldeo. That's not nice. Okay, so to our turn, what happens? We get a Shebe. Okay, so I'm going to course for like a billion. And if we whiffed a Water Energy, I'm, I'm going to be upset. Like, I really am going to be upset. How is that possible? How did that just happen? Okay, so we're going to Computer Search, Discard, Ultra Ball, and Ultra Ball. To get a water energy, how many are in our deck? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have two prize, but still, like, what's going on? Uh, we'll water energy to cure him. We will rush in. Retreat to the cure him, and we will uh, frost spear. And we're going to hit the other, the, the, the even talk with the, with the fighting fear belt. So there's what? Uh, 70 and 30. Eh, yeah, we can knock it out next turn with the other Kyrum, which is great. A Dark Energy the active. Uh, we might see a Blizzard Burn for 120. Doesn't knock us out, but I can't put pressure. Or maybe a Frost Spear do 30 and 30. A Foul Play. And let's see, does he go for the Blizzard Burn? Oh, 140. Oh, because the Muscle Band. Duh, I'm silly. Alright, so he, go he goes out of 5 price cards. We're going to send the Keldeo. On to our turn, what do we get? A oh, water energy, hey -oh. Alright, so put down the Kyrum. Coalish Machine. Okay, we're going to put on this guy. We will put a water energy to this one, and that way, uh, he has to do a little bit more, like, we don't lose our muscle man, basically, is what I'm going for. Um, let's play course. Okay. So let's coalish for a billion. We're looking for some max elixirs as well. Maybe go on this guy for the next turn, or water energy, okay. Alright, so I'm actually just going to retreat and just take a knockout. We'll do 73, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we'll do 30 to the other Evatol. No, we'll do... Let's do it on the Zora. Yeah, that seems okay. So 70, 30. We can maybe snipe that Zora for the knockout next turn if he doesn't knock out this Kyrum. I mean, I think he's going to, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He's only doing 110, actually. So maybe he won't take a knockout this turn. And we can knock out the Zora while also doing more damage to this Evatol. That seems okay. Uh, there's a Muspan going down to the Zora. There's a Shebe drawn five. Ooh, a Shaman coming down. That's great. Uh, an easy Pokemon we can knock out. I wonder if my opponent plays a Counter Stadium. A Dark Energy is the active. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's going to take a knockout for sure. But I think we'll be okay. So even tall Zora, Zora, Zoruru comes down. All right. Okay. Go take a knockout this turn, but we can use Blizzard Burn to knock him out with this Kyrum. Okay, so Eva Ball, go take a knockout 130. He's going to go down to 4. We can then take a knockout this guy. The question is, does he play DCs? We have yet to see one, so let's go Caldeo, and let's see what happens on to our turn. Okay, so we get a Water Energy. How many Kyrums are in our discard ball? 1, 2. Alright, so I'm going to Super Rod. Shuffle back in uh, these guys. We will... Coach Machine, for sure, to get the Plasma. Putting down the, the... Oh, no! Oh, no! We already had a Plasma! Oh, we already had a Plasma Energy on it! Why did you do that? Alright, so Water Energy... Uh, because we're thin our deck out, that's why. That was just me being silly. Alright, so we get the Water Energy. That's great. <sighs> okay, so how much HP is left on this guy? Can we take a knockout? Yeah, oh, yeah, we can. Woo! 180 is kind of scary. So we're gonna send this guy. We will Blizzard Burn... For the knockout, man, that, that course machine, I shouldn't have done that. So 180 damage, we'll go down to 3. 1, 2. There's a Trainer's Mill and a Water Energy, okay. Uh, we might be able to knock out this Evatol this turn. 
Like, if we get super lucky, uh, we need a muscle fan, uh, double max elixir. I'm not even sure how many are in the deck right now. Hmm. Okay, okay. So he takes an. Oh, wait, wait. He does take a knockout. He's using Y Cyclone? Why did he Y Cyclone? I'm so confused. So put down the cure. Um. He said, oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh no! Alright, so put down this guy, put a water energy, we will max elixir for water energy, and look, we'll be nice, we'll be nice, we will rush in, because what we could have done is, um, is this play, I'm not sure if it would have won this game, but we're going to treat to the, this Kiram, and we're going to Frost Spear, do 30 and 30 to this guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 70, 30, taking a knockout, go down to 2, but we have the life center next turn, we have the water energy as well, so there's a float stone, and now it's our opponent's turn, there's a dark energy, a gold, a gold potion comes down, uh, but we can still take a knockout this turn, maybe, we need a muscle band, oh, we already have the muscle band on the bench, so yeah, we should be able to win the game now, there's a hypnotoxic laser, doesn't matter, and that misclick, I don't know if he actually misclicked or not, because you definitely have to move a DC to do it. We see a Juniper discard his hand, draws seven new cards. And we'll see Plasma Kiram take a game. Oh, Verbeck CDGM comes down. Uh, we're going to discard Hoopa. Shaman. And the Caldeo. There we go. I will still take a knockout this turn. Yep, we will. All right. So there we go. Those get discarded. We'll sit at the Kiram, and we will Blizzard Burn. For the knockout, unless he just, oh man, fighting Fury Ball on the active as well, but we should be okay. So Eva Ball, do it 130, we can Lysander, uh, bring up the Dark Ride. Yeah, that seems great. Uh, it's taking a knockout. We'll send up Kiram. And we will Lysander, bring up that Dark Ride, 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Come on, Dark Ride, come up to me, buddy. And we will Blizzard Bird. For the knockout, take it a game. I'm still curious if my opponent misclicked or not. Because you actually have to move the DC to, uh, to take it off. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Can we get another game, uh, another win with the speed Kiram deck? Kind of. Like, that wasn't really that fast. Uh, but we'll see what happens in the next game for sure. Uh, just getting some tokens. Yeah, we'll see you in the next game. Alright, putting against Deadhead 1 playing a Steel Dragon Water Fairy deck. So many different combinations. It could be a fairy box deck, but we won the coin flip. We will go first, and let's see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll have to go first. All right, so let's see. What do we start with? That's not good. Okay. Oh, my goodness. We'll start Shaman. Oh, Pokemon, help me. All right, but we have Computer Search. We need a turn one Hoopa. We got Max Losers as well to get onto Kiram. So maybe our turn's not that bad. So there's a sh oh, he starts shaving as well. All right, so we're going to computer search, discard these two. We'll grab a Hoopa. Hoopa, don't be... There you are. There he is, Mr. Hoopa himself. So we'll Skyfield Hoopa. And with the Hoopa, we'll get... Yeah, we'll search for 3X Pokemon. We'll get a Deoxys, a uh, Shaman, and Keldeo. We do have one Deoxys prize. So we can't take automatic knockouts on 180 HP Pokemon. Uh, so grab those three. Put down the Keldeo, Deoxys, Shaman for three. And let's see, what do we get off the Shaman? Okay, so we get a Kiram. A uh, Colish Machine. And there we go. And then we'll Max Elixir. We Colish Machine first and thin our deck out. We'll Max Elixir. Getting a Water Energy. All right, so there's three in the top deck. And then we'll end uh, for a new hand. All right, can we get a Flow Stone this turn? And if we do, we'll pretty much have a great turn one. Okay, okay, it's kind of weird. Well, Trainer's Mill? Let's see... Nothing. Just energies and a cure. I'm, I'm glad with Trainer's Mill, because our hand was bad. Uh, with Trainer's Mill again. Or an Ultra Ball. Alright, with this, we're going to Ultra Ball, uh, discard an Ultra Ball to Water Energy. We're going to get down another Shaman. Or no, we're not. I, I lied. We're not going to get down to the shame. We'll get a Kiram. Uh, put down a Kiram. Deoxys pass. Yep, that's going to happen that turn. All right, so we'll pass. We'll keep the one card in our hand so that way our opponent thinks it's like a supporter card or something. Uh, because if you put your hand down to zero and then your opponent realizes it's zero, 
then they're like, oh, he doesn't have a supporter card, so I'm not going to end him this turn. So maybe he'll think we have an end, or maybe he has a supporter card. So we see Battle Compressor going to discard three cards out of his deck. And let's find out what our opponent is playing. So there is a, oh, it looks like in the Ho-Oh deck. Okay. So I guess Huntel. Oh, it's, no, all right, okay, so it's a Rainbow Road deck. All right, so there's a Xerneas Rebirth Tells. I don't know if he wants to get the Xerneas out or not. Like, it's definitely, like, a liability. Evil Talk coming down. All right. And we just need to hit a VS Seeker, Juniper, Colorist. There's a lot of different stuff in our deck. Uh, oh, the other... I old spawned for the Shaman, and the Shaman's on the bench. What was I thinking? Uh, so Lysander bringing up the Caldeo. A uh, Grass Energy, that guy. And a pass. I guess he just wanted Lysander in the discard pile. Um, I guess we'll pass as well. All right, so under our opponent's turn. Things are going great. Um, we can knock out the Evil Todd next turn. Uh, no, we can't. Like, we have to, like, we have to draw cards that's impossible. Rebirth tells, okay. So, me and my opponent doing great so far. Can we draw into a Flowstone? A Dark Energy, uh, Grass Energy going to Evil Todd. On to our turn. Okay, we get a course. Thank you. All right, so Muscle Band and a course for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. All right, so we'll max elixir. <laughs> Getting a water energy. We'll attach it to this guy. And now we have two Kyrams ready to go. Uh, Colorist Machine, once again. Getting a plasma energy. I mean, we have we have attackers. We just don't have the floatstone. Is there one in the discard pile? Is that why I'm missing it? Nope, there's not one. Okay. So we'll just end our turn. Almost our opponent's turn. Do they draw anything this turn? <laughs> oh, man. It's going great for both of us. All right, but next turn, we can put down the Deoxys via Seeker for Colors. Hey, there we go. Yay. Good job, opponent. All right, so we're going to see a Rebirth. Going to get out three energies on that Ho OEX, but we can knock it out. It is we to uh, Fire or we to Water. There's an Energy Switch. Going to move the Energy up to these uh, Shaman, maybe? Oh, no, to the Xerneas. Okay. There's another Energy Switch. Please show me that last card is a Juniper. That would be so cool. Like, if he, if he just held on, yeah, he just had, like, a really good hand. And he was like, I'm just going to hold on to this till I flip a heads on this rebirth. There's a Keldeo coming down. There's a Trainer's Mill looking for the top four cards of his deck. And let's see, does he get a Flowstone? There's a course for the next turn. Okay. Oh, man, Rainbow Force is kind of scary. Another Trainer's Mill looking for the Flowstone. There's a Skyfield. Oh, we both play Skyfield. That's great. Well, kind of not. We already dropped Shamans. Um, but we should be okay. There's an Ultra Ball discarding a Lightning and a Dark Energy. Maybe get another Shea Bay out. Now, if he, takes a, if he attacks with this, this Xerneas, I'm actually going to attack with this, this Kyrim. So that way we preserve with it. We, start, we preserve the energy, the Kyrim with the Muscle Band. If that makes any sense. Uh, and let's see, does he have another Shaman? Did he whip the Flowstone as well? Man, that'd be great. I would be so happy if that happened. All right. Have we played? Okay, Super Oz not played either, so we can, you know, get back energies as well. But if we can take a knockout on Shaman this turn, then Lysander, the next turn, bring up a Ho-Oh, take a knockout. That'd be fantastic. And then maybe get another Kyrm out. Okay, so there's a Zardis coming down. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's an energy switch. Going to move the Grass Energy to the Shaman, retreat, and ra power, uh, Rainbow Force will do... 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. So not a knockout yet, unless I'm bad at math. And we all know I'm bad at math. So let's see, does he have it or not? So there's Rainbow Force, 160. Yeah, so 10 damage off. He needed the Muscle Band, Fighting Fear Belts, any of those cards. So on our turn, we top deck the Water Energy. We'll put down Deoxys. Water Energy, this one. And we're going to VS Seeker for a course. Please let me get a... A float stone. We get like a billion cards. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't know there's a float stone in the deck, but please, Pokemon, give me a float stone. And we got one. Good, good, good. All right, so we'll float stone this guy. We will retreat into the Kyrum. And we will Blizzard Burn for 120. Now, my opponent really can't retaliate the next turn. I don't think he can. I mean, he could get another Ho-Oh and then Rebirth, Energy Switches. But he's already played... Two energy switch, uh, three energy switches. Here comes Evil Tall X. Now we have a Muscle Band. We can knock out Evil Tall X while powering up this one. There's a car. It's going to get a billion cards. He can still rebirth, get a heads energy switch DCE, and that'll take a knockout. 
So let's see, does he have it or not? Hopefully he doesn't. I'd be fine with that. We get the muscle man, we can rush him, retreat, attack with this guy. And then we see a vintage scream. Opponent can seize the game, realizing he can't win it. And there we go. That is that was a really good game. Like, if we didn't whiff the flow stones, we would have destroyed anybody, basically. Uh we would have, like I said, water energy, rush and retreat. Take out a knockout for sure. We would have two Kirims ready to go. And we need, needed two price cards. And he really wasn't threatening us for the following turn. But hopefully you enjoy this deck. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something new about speed. Kirim, it might be. Uh, it's probably not the greatest. Uh, but it is cool to fun. And, it, you know, it's cool to see fun old decks like Plasma uh, being kind of built for this new format. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.